What is up YouTube? This is Instinct bringing you guys another one of my gun guide videos. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because subscribing will give you guys notifications when all of my new videos come out. I've been uploading new videos every morning uh, since I started my channel about two weeks ago. So if you're interested in my videos, please subscribe to watch the day by day videos that I will be uploading every morning. So today we're going to continue with the SMG class with a review of the Vepr. First off guys, the Vepr is given a moderate recoil rating. This gun has a decent accuracy at close range, but the accuracy falls off greatly when you shoot this gun at longer ranges. Now there are a few uh, submachine guns that do fall off greatly, the Vepr being one of them, but all the guns in Call of Duty Ghost do uh, fall off in terms of accuracy when you shoot them at longer ranges, but these few submachine guns that I've mentioned recently do fall off at a faster rate, so shooting this gun at long range is not going to be very effective. This gun is effective at close to medium range, but just do not expect to win a gunfight at long range against something like an assault rifle. Next guys, the Vepr also has the average damage output. This gun does 35 damage at the closest possible range and 20 damage at the furthest possible range. This gun is a 3 shot kill at 14 meters or less and then quickly becomes a 5 shot kill at 17 meters or above. So guys, similarly to the Vector, this gun is ideally either a 3 shot kill or a 5 shot kill because the 4 shot kill range only covers a distance of 3 meters so this gun is ideally either going to be 3 shot kill or 5 shot kill. Comparing this gun to the Vector, the Vector does have a longer 3 shot kill range but the Vepr does have a better rate of fire that we will talk about soon. The Vepr also has the largest magazine size in its class. This gun offers 42 bullets per magazine which is 10 bullets more than the Vector or the K7 so Guys, firsthand, I could tell you that these 10 bullets really will make a difference when reloading is not an option. When you're in a gunfight and reloading is not an option, these 10 bullets will make a difference. Lastly, guys, the Vepr does have a less than average fire rate. The Vepr shoots at a rate of 882 bullets per minute, which ranks 4th out of 6th in the SMG class. So guys, when we look at the Vepr, I really don't see any attributes that stand out and make this gun uh, something that you need to use. This gun has a low to average 3 shot kill range. The accuracy of this weapon is average and it does have a lower than average rate of fire. The only thing that this gun uh, sort of stands out with is its magazine size, but adding the extended mag attachment to any other SMG will outweigh this gun's um, sort of perks. So guys, if you are looking for a powerful SMG that will bring your kill to death ratio up drastically, I'm sorry to say, but I don't believe the, Vep the Vepr is going to be able to do that. Um, fortunately, I do cover some other submachine guns. Actually, I cover all the submachine guns. So if you guys are interested in learning about which submachine gun is going to bring your KD ratio up, please don't forget to check out my other videos. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of Instincts Gun Guides, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't be afraid to press a few buttons on this next screen. Thanks, guys.